Right, we'll keep getting you updates. Shifting focus to the other story. We're tracking days after a brutal mob lynching in Nagaland stunned the country. New facts have emerged in the case. Contradictory versions of the alleged rape uh, for which the man had been put behind bars have now come to light. The Nagaland government has submitted a report of the brutal incident to the Home Ministry, which allegedly rules out rape. Speaking to headlines today, the Chief Minister of Nagaland said there is no conclusive evidence of rape. Meanwhile, uh, the alleged rape victim has claimed that she was paid a sum of 5,000 rupees to keep mum. Given the fact that there have been disturbed reports that there was a demand from money, I know it's a disturbing question also, but what is the truth if you could speak that out? That's totally a false allegation. That very night he gave me an amount of 5,000 rupees to let me keep silent and he threatened me to kill and expose the entire incident to all. So I was afraid of my life. So I took the money and handed it over to the police the very morning. So it was, it is totally a false allegation. It is an interim report submitted to MHA because there are two cases in this issue. One is a rape case, FIR filed by the, the victim. And that police investigation is going on. So police report, doctor report, Finally, it will go to the magistrate court and the court will deliver its judgment, whether it is rape or it is not. Well, let's get in a word from our correspondent Manogya Loiwal, who is with us live from uh, Dimapur uh, this morning. Good morning, uh, Manogya. Some important uh, aspects of this case coming to light. The chief minister saying that rape cannot be conclusively established in this case. You also spoke uh, to the rape, uh, to the alleged rape survivor who said that she was given money to remain shut. Well, absolutely. A lot of many aspects coming in. The first coming in that there is a possibility of the rape being con uh, taking place, but then it needs to be established in the magistrate court. That's what the chief minister, T.R. Zeliang, clearly said. Interestingly, we've heard that there have been two versions as far as the rape victim is concerned. She has been alleging that there was rape. However, the person who's died and his family has been claiming that there was none of such activities. But in between this, we have been importantly seeing that there was a mob attack on 5th March after which there has been action initiated by the state government where they've suspended three officers and since then they have been tracking those people who have been on the run. Now, in, in this way, they have arrested around 47 to 48 people till now which also means there are a certain people who have been hailing from certain NGOs including Survivor Nagaland. Now with all these NGOs being under scanner the government is a clear picture that there might be more arrests including certain youth leaders also. However one thing is confirmed that despite more arrests there is of course a ban on the SMS and the data services on the mobiles at least for next 48 hours to continue. All right, Manogia, thanks so much uh, for that update. Manogia bringing us crucial updates to the story saying SMS services have been banned uh, in this uh, area. We'll keep coming back.